Hey, how's everybody doing today? I uh, haven't put a video out for a couple of weeks, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to give this whole vlog thing a, a go and kind of show you what, I'm, what I've got going today. I'm kind of in between um, bear season and uh, shed season, so I uh, things have been kind of slow. So anyway, um, my plan for today is... Uh, I'm going to re go rebate bears actually. So I'm going to head up. Today will be the last day I rebate. And in four days, I will actually be up there for a week to uh, hunt. But I thought you'd kind of walk you through our my daily, I shouldn't say daily, my, my day today and kind of show you what I go through to uh, bait and what else I've got going today. I thought that'd be kind of fun. Uh, but while we're down here, I, I do have a couple other things I've got to get done today. I've got an order, um, just a t-shirt that I need to get shipped out. So I'm going to get that prepped. And then uh, then we can go get the bears rebated. But uh, yeah, let me show you around here real quick. I've, I'm actually in the process of um, remodeling this whole downstairs. We're doing the floors. I've done this floor already. I don't know if you can tell. But uh haven't finished the room 100%. My dog, that's Sadie. Great dog. Hi, Sadie. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so maybe we'll do another video, another vlog like this and kind of show you where we're at with the uh, remodel down here and what I have left to do. So anyway, let me turn this around and I'll show you uh, what we've got going on in here. Okay, well, this is kind of, I, I did this wall a while back. And I think that turned out pretty sweet. I'm super happy with how that turned out. Um, those are a bunch of antelope that we've shot over the years. Some sheds. Uh, this is kind of where when I'm getting ready for a hunt, I'll organize all my stuff on this table right here. Uh, it's pretty messy right now. I tore my pack apart getting ready for uh, this bear hunt. To see what all I had in there. My bow. Uh, which, by the way... This is an old Hoyt Maxis. I've had this bow for however long, I don't know, five or six years at least, but I'm not that guy that has to buy a new bow every year. It'd be nice, but I simply can't afford to do it, so I don't. And I've shot lots of stuff with that, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Um, Not much up here now. All my cameras, I don't know where they're at, but charger. This is a little light I picked up for, and there we go. For my uh, phone when I'm filming at night. Actually, it works really good. So, anyway, kind of cool. Like 11 bucks. Uh, these are the prizes for the uh, uh, shed contest. If you guys happen to enter that, I will be uh, announcing those winners pretty soon. And if I don't get out again before June 15th, there's one guy that is only off by one antler. I think, I'm think i pretty sure. I haven't actually done the count, but I'm pretty sure he's only off by one antler. So he probably will win. Uh, let's see what else. This is super unorganized, by the way. My reloading bench. Um, I build some arrows and stuff over there, but they're, they're pretty messy. These are some bears that I've shot in the past. Hopefully I am fortunate enough to... Uh, harvest this year again um i got another bear skull in the freezer i haven't done the one from last year that was probably the first buck i ever shot in idaho it was with a rifle it was back in the 90s um i was pretty happy that i just an over-the-counter buck and then that was the first time i ever hunted nevada a super wide three-point that was a lot of fun and my buddy had actually shot a big four-point buck which was really cool and that's a deadhead I actually found. The, actually, up by my bear bait, the um, fish and game actually had found it. The officer stopped by my camp to check out, to, you know, talk to me and stuff. And uh, as it turned out, that bull was dead just up above my camp. And he had already checked out and said, hey, he's checked off. If you would like him, you can go get him. So I did. I found him up there, and uh, it was pretty cool. Uh... Working on a last shed video, one with my son. So that's kind of cool. This is my tin wall. That was awesome. Anyway, and then I have uh, this closet. I kind of keep, 
it's all old. I pretty much don't wear much of any of that stuff anymore. Uh, I do have the Sitka gear for waterfowl when I film hunts. I don't really hunt waterfowl too much and coyote hunts for this, but I don't do that a whole lot either. So I hang on to them just in case. But anyway, then I have a thing full of different shirts. Those are the Tan Desert Dwellers. That's the style. I got to dig out the right size, but that's a shirt that was purchased. I got to ship out today. Um, there's some old Sagebuck shirts. I've had those for a long time. I don't even have them on the website, but they're kind of cool. And then some olive green uh, Desert Dollar shirts, too. And I got a few beanies left. So those are kind of cool. I've got skull caps that I've had for a while. I don't have those on the website either. And these are some super old hats. I just found this box actually a while back, but these are one of my first tries of the hat years ago, and I didn't even realize I had those still, so they're kind of cool. Some decals. Honestly, guys, I'm not going to lie. Like, I am out of hats. Got to get some more order. These these are actually, uh, I think one of these is sold, and one of those is sold already, so I got to get those. They are actually local pickups, so I will uh, just take those to the people. I do all kinds of shirts and a bunch of different decals I got piled up there. So this is my mess. I store a bunch of crap back there that I use a lot of it, but not all of it. Anyway. All right. So that's that. I'm gonna, let's walk upstairs. I actually have a check. This is my workout room, by the way. And this is the room that needs remodeled still. So I'll show you guys that once we on a different video, I suppose. We'll go out to the garage real quick and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing today. Oh, it's actually kind of nice now. It's been raining pretty cold today. Two days ago, uh, it was 94 degrees. Today, the high is supposed to be 51. So, pretty chilly. That's what it is. All right, let me turn this back around. Uh, so anyway, this is part of my garage. I am going to get this popcorn. I'm pretty much, well, I'm actually not going to lie. I'm out of popcorn. So I've got that to put in there. I'll give me about three quarters of a bag. And i got a little other stuff that I'm going to throw in there. But I'll take that up today. And um, some scent. This is a mess. Some scent from... Uh, Datum 907. I love this stuff. Like I, I, I've said this probably before, but not a sponsor. Don't do sponsors. Don't have sponsors. But uh, I've been using their stuff for the last couple of years, and they are awesome to work with. So, um, yeah, if you ever need anything, and it, this I, I don't know why, but the um, this is the anise, and I just feel like that that smell. It's awesome, but these are, they call them yo-yos. They just actually, just throw them up in a tree. Um, they have a rope, I don't know if you can tell, probably. Yeah, right there. They're kind of, they're stuck together uh, They with that string, and then you just throw it up on a tree lamb so it's hard to get to. These are the fruity rubble ones, and those smell so cool. But anyway, yeah, so I'll get this uh, taken care of, uh, get that order put together so I can ship that out, and then we will haul up to the, bait site this morning and um it's about an hour and a half drive or so so i will rebate depending depending on the weather if it's raining i'm not going to do this but i am going to take my tent and set that up today so that way it's done when i get up there next week and uh just one last thing i have to do before i can hunt so we'll see how that goes but uh yeah i'll start getting stuff ready to roll and uh we'll get out of here for the day and get back
into town and I have forgotten my wallet. So one, I cannot mail uh, the package I need to mail. And two, I can't get fuel and I don't have enough fuel to uh, make it up to my bear bait and back. So I'm turning around and going home making this an even longer day. you Karen for the order by the way appreciate it uh, Karen in California and uh, anyway so uh, yeah I'm heading out I'm actually gonna go uh, actually pick up Frank because he uh, he's gonna go check his bait today as well apparently so we're gonna hook up and uh, double team so we'll check his bait check my bait see if the weather's light maybe sub tent probably not to be honest with you but anyway that's gonna be the plan today and uh, yeah Frank's site and uh yeah he's been hit pretty good it's almost empty so that's good we'll get this refilled we're gonna check the cameras too and uh, see and uh before we leave i gotta show you this tree stand it got ate by a bear <laughs> hey, yeah. so anyway we'll get this going and uh, get out of here hopefully there's some daylight bears hitting we'll see Alright, so I just wanted to show you this. Yeah. You see that? The bears got Frank's. <laughs> uh, hilarious. Yeah, so anyway, he's got a really nice boar. Just started hitting, looks like last night actually. A boar in the south came in. Looked like a big black colored one. So, uh, when are you coming up to hunt, Frank? Um, probably Tuesday, come up Tuesday, uh, if not Thursday, latest. And so, I got those fingers crossed, finally, getting something to hit it. Yeah, it's been pretty slow. It's been a slow season, so we're yeah. going to go get mine checked, and hopefully I'm having the same luck. We'll yeah. see. Yes, yes, yes. All right, well, uh, that was pretty cool. There was a little, I know you guys didn't get to see it, but there was a little cinnamon bear on, 
on there still. And, or when we walked up, I just saw the, his head and he was facing away from me. I think it looks like there's only two bears hitting right now. And that one and then uh, a, looked like a medium size. Uh, I call them cinnamon. A lot of people call them blonde, whatever. Light colored. Um, looked like it was had a pretty decent belly on it. So, uh, based on the photos, it was trying to get one of those yo-yos. <laughs> so I got a pretty good look at its belly. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, that's okay. We've had better years, but that's uh, you know that can change overnight too. So we'll see. And we'll be back up on Thursday to hunt. But good day. Frank's got a great bear hitting his, so we'll keep our fingers crossed for him on that one. I don't know what Lee's is doing. But anyway, yeah. Uh, we'll get back down to town and uh, catch up with you guys. Hey guys, well I hope you uh, enjoyed my first try at a uh, vlog. It was kind of fun to do. Kind of a day in the life, really. I mean, that's kind of stuff that... I do a lot of that on you know, pretty full days on my days off from work. But uh, anyway, if you if you like that kind of stuff, let me know. Give me some feedback. I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you'd like to see some more of that kind of stuff, uh, it's kind of been summers are always kind of slow, so you kind of figure out how you kind of keep some videos rolling. So I enjoy doing them. But so yeah, I'd like to do some of those this summer. Maybe it'll be all hunting hunting related. Obviously, and we'll maybe do some scouting trips and. Uh, how my little uh, business is doing and whatnot, selling stuff. But uh, anyway, yeah, so I'll probably do some more of those. Let me know what you think. Uh, in fact, I might even throw in some uh, cooking videos. My wife and I both love to cook, and, and uh, uh, we've been playing around with some videos on that. So uh, maybe you'll like that kind of stuff, too. We'll see how those turn out. But uh, anyway, man, if you appreciate if you like these, man, I'd appreciate it if you uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and uh you know support us in that way i would really appreciate that it means a lot and uh yeah we started bear hunting i leave in two days saying i have not got very much stuff together to, so i gotta get some stuff organized but anyway thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you uh on the next video